going to tell you, Rob, that smells so good in here. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> the reason why it smells so good in here is oh, we have right. Chef Fabrizio <laughs> uh with Palagio Trattoria. Am I sorry? Tor Trattoria. 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 You know, I, I can't. I'm not going to You got the speak. accent, though. You really, you nail it. That's pretty nice, though. <laughs> That's a good part. It's a beautiful yeah, thing. Italian, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is a big part about it, huh? With the, sh can I, with the chef, we also have Chris Sherman, who is the food, wine, spirits critic for St. Petersburg Times. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, and you guys are here to talk about the Vodka and Gin Trails event that's coming up. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, what it is? Uh, you've got some food here. Um, it's I know you give us the 411 on it. Okay, uh, you want to go first, Mr. Sherman, since you have the good part on the liquor. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, people are more interested in in the quality of uh, spirits anymore, and this is a chance to sample a variety of vodkas and a little gin. Uh, and show how it goes with food, which uh, the chef has prepared, and also to dispel the idea that vodka and gin don't really have taste because they, Sometimes they aren't just different pretty bottles. They do have taste. You know, it's... Um this is not something that's really like the most popular thing in the world is, you know, a lot of times you have wine and gelato, you have wine and a cheese thing and, and, and grapes and crackers and all that kind of stuff. The mixing a, um, mixing food with vodkas and gins is something that's very new here in the Tampa Bay area. Is, would this be considered one of the first times this has been highlighted? In well, the Bay Area? I think it in this in this bay area yes but it's going on uh, around the country more and more people are eating at the bar and uh people are also trying to sort of spell their drinking with some eating plus we've had a great development of small plate eating whether it's tapas sure. or meza or sushi any of those things go fine with uh with all kinds of alcohol, well, not just wine. Chef Fabrizio, how, how did, um, there, there's this trail going on, how did they pick your restaurant to, to have it at, or was this something that you wanted to be a part of? Yeah, they asked actually a couple of months ago if uh, we want to participate on that. I said, well, why not? It's something new, something different, and something very interesting to do. And uh, so I pick a few ingredients, few things then that are classic with, uh, they go very well actually with God, vodka and gin. Like the olive, all these things, they go very well with our uh, team in our uh, restaurant. So we say, okay, let's let's do it. So we have uh, a menu and the drink together. So then you already know what what spirits are going to be there, and then yes. you have to uh, you have a month's notice, and you have to figure out the pairing of the food that would go best with the with the spirits. That's correct. And you develop the menu around that, yes. and people come by and taste a little of this, and have a little yeah. shot, and have a little flavor. I and think taste. the most interesting. Then we have, I mean, for my point of view, a test them is the, the this one is, uh, it's a Kobe beef. Oh, it's Kobe oh, beef. Me. Served with uh, gorgonzola flan, and uh, it's going to be a, a banana vodka. <sighs> and it's kind of strange the taste, but if you think like the classic, like the pear and gorgonzola, blue uh -huh. cheese with a pear with the banana, and then the fat part of the meat, the the Kobe. It got a pretty nice taste put together. It seems strange, but it's good. I like the taste so. How long have you been pairing foods? How long have you been preparing foods as well, too? How long have you been a chef? Uh, okay, in Europe you start much younger than the United States. So <laughs> Child it's, labor uh, laws here in the yeah, States, here, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's 20, 21 years now, 20, almost 22, actually. Wow, that's so, so, so you've been doing this for a while. So you, if people go to your restaurant, when is the, when is the uh, trail? When is the event? Uh, it's going to be on Sunday. It's going to be gonna on be Sunday. Sunday. 4 o'clock to 7 p.m. No, Chris, before, I want to talk about your food in just a second, but Chris, you have a pretty big role in this. I mean... Well, I'm just, I'm just someone who has, who has sampled my share of <laughs> gin, vodka, rum, various things, and so they asked me to speak a little on how vodka is made, how gin's made, and the differences between them, and a little bit of advice or uh, warning on how to taste them. You know, it's the um, it's the nuances and it's the experience that the flavors make when they're mixed because, like you were saying, vodka is not just vodka. Like, hey, I'm going to drink vodka so the cops can't smell my breath. You know, people need to start realizing that 
that it's not just, you know, it's not vodka and cranberry just to cranberryize it. You know what I mean? That there's certain such flavors that accent cheeses, that accent plums or accent garlic olives and that kind of stuff too. What is, what's something that you've tasted that's just sort of made you like, this is, this is, I want to eat this and always, you know. Well, in, in terms of, in terms of Your favorite of combination, drink, yeah, your favorite combination. Well, I, I think, uh, I think cold vodka and and sushi are are good together. Usually, the sushi's kind of fatty, but a a crisp vodka is is really? very really. So you would have it on ice if you're drinking, or yeah. if you're eating sushi. Really, but, I never thought of that. But for this, uh, this is going to be, I believe the uh, the pearl plum vodka is going to be with a uh, duck. Breast here. That's duck over there. Yes. Yeah. You know, oh, no one brought any. Hold, hold, hold your seat there. Yeah. This this is this is duck breast. Duck breast is traditionally done with some sort of a fruit. So I think for Fabrizio, he went to the. He thought of that with a plum. Am That's I right? correct. Yes. Yeah.